Titanium is a key component in the aerospace industry, used in aircraft components, airframes, and turnback engines. Ensuring the authenticity of this metal is vital for safety and performance. Recently, there was a numbing news about counterfeit titanium found in Boeing and Airbus jets, causing quite a stir in the industry. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Rapid Your Channel. This is Betsy. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through our material identification process and explain some common material testing methods to help protect you and your business from the risks of fake metals. There are hundreds of metal alloys on the market, and suppliers often claim that their materials meet the required standards. However, small differences in composition can have a significant impact on how metals are processed and how they perform. So, how do you ensure the authenticity of these materials? First, you need to understand the concept of positive material identification, or PMI. Positive material identification PMI is a fast and non-destructive testing NDT method for verifying the chemical composition of metals and alloys. PMI can be used to verify that supplied materials conform to the proper standards and specifications. Portable S-ray fluorescence is the most commonly used PMI method. As Rapid Direct, we always require a material test report from our suppliers when we purchase materials, primarily including the composition of the material. However, receiving a test report doesn't mean we can start machining immediately. It's critical that we always test the materials ourselves. This practice has helped us so confident satisfied customers and avoid problems that could damage our business and reputation. When materials arrive, we cast a small sample and prefer an in-house PMI testing using SRF tools. We use the Hitachi SRF machines, a lightweight, easy-to-use and reliable mental identification tool. It can identify over 1,600 types of alloys, including carbon steel, stainless steel, tool steel, aluminum alloys, titanium alloys, and copper alloys giving us a clear understanding of the material composition. You can simply press the trigger and it will generate a test report within seconds. Results can be uploaded to a PC and saved as tamper-proof PDF documents. However, PMI testing is only one aspect of the mental identification process. For materials that require bell loads, we also prefer hardness test using the Rockwell hardness tester by applying a specific load to an indenter and measuring the depth of the indentation, we ensure the material meets the required hardness specifications for its application. Moreover, some customers may require additional testing that goes beyond our in-house capabilities. In such cases, we work with reputable laboratories for further analysis. Remember, material identification is also a critical aspect of quality control that you can't afford to overlook. Okay, I think you may have a clear understanding of how we prevent the use of counterfeit materials. If you found this video helpful, please share, like, and subscribe. Bye!